Good morning, everyone. I'm just sitting outside, enjoying the weather right now while it's still cool because it is perfect here in the mornings in Arizona, but I swear to God, once it hits like 11 o'clock, it's 100 degrees and you just gotta stay inside. Today I figured I would do a what I ate in a day video. I woke up really early this morning around 5 a.m just like every other morning. I have no idea why I wake up so early, but it's like clockwork. And I just did my normal stuff, like I walked the dogs, made some dandy blend, watered my plants, and then I got really hungry, which typically I don't really get hungry till 11 or so, but this morning, once it hit 8.30, I was like starving. And I couldn't decide between oats or a smoothie, so I combined them, Whew, so good. I basically just blended some bananas, berries, and protein powder with a little bit of water. And then I cooked some instant oats in a separate bowl and just left them in there to cool for a tiny bit and thicken. I poured the smoothie on half of it and the oats on the other half. And then I topped it with some fresh berries and peanut butter, a little bit of Enjoy Life chocolate chips and some coconut. And let me tell you guys, this was the most amazing combo ever. I feel like because it was hot and cold and more savory but more sweet and had all these like toppings on it oh my gosh. you guys have to try this seriously i don't know why i never thought of pouring a smoothie over oats but it kind of tasted like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich concoction but just in a really healthy way so good and then i took my vitamins i typically like to wait until i eat something to take them just because i feel like they digest better, but I know it's like not necessary. It's just, I like to have something in my stomach when I take my vitamins. If you guys saw my video on supplements, I was taking the Ritual Essential Women's Supplement and I just switched to their prenatal because obviously Derek and I are still trying to have a baby and we're trying really hard, not pregnant yet, but I figured I might as well take a prenatal and I didn't even know that they made a prenatal so I started taking this about a month ago. I really like the fact that it doesn't make me feel nauseous. I have taken prenatals in the past because I used to think that they would like make my hair and my nails stronger but they always made me really nauseous. So this one definitely has no nausea effect to it and I'm in love with them. Obviously when we're trying to have a baby or even pregnant, getting the right amount of nutrients and vitamins is essential to the development of the baby, but also ourselves. And I didn't actually know this, but the ideal time to start taking a prenatal is about three months before you wanna get pregnant. The Ritual Essential Prenatals, you only need to take two per day and they provide you with 12 different vitamins and minerals that are essential for you if you're trying to get pregnant or if you have a baby on the way. Oh my God. If you saw my Instagram post, we were in Toronto for a week visiting family and my new nephew and my niece are so cute. Like it just gave me the worst baby fever ever. Ugh. I just can't wait. Anyways, I really love this brand because it is vegan, cruelty-free, everything that I stand for and look for in products whenever I consider purchasing them. They are also non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, sourced straight from their suppliers, leaving out the potential harmful colorants and hidden misleading ingredients often found in vitamins. It's also only about a dollar a day to get these vitamins delivered to your door. If you're not considering pregnancy, I highly also recommend Ritual's Essential Women's Daily vitamin that I was taking for a few months before I started taking this. I will link the video where I talked about that down below and how it helped me to fix a iron deficiency that I had. But if you are thinking, trying, or already pregnant, Ritual is offering you guys a 10% off your first three months subscription. If you are interested, you can go to ritual.com slash highcarbhanna and use the code highcarbhanna. I will also leave the link down in the description box for you guys with the coupon code. So yeah, took my vitamins, did all of my morning things Derek is on the tractor I swear to god every time I try to make a video like there's some background noise I have the worst background noise in my videos if you guys have not realized that it's just frustrating <laughs> I made some tea this is actually my favorite kind it is a caffeine free Bengal spice by celestial seasonings I like it because it tastes like chai tea to me 
and it doesn't have caffeine. I usually just put a little bit of stevia in here. I think it already has stevia in it. It's, I don't, no, it doesn't. But <laughs> it it's like naturally sweet on its own. So I just add a little bit of stevia, some soy milk, and a little bit of cinnamon. So today I'm probably just gonna be sharing you guys my food. I have so many videos to edit. My computer when we were in Toronto just straight up died. Like would not turn on, would not do anything. And I came back home and had four videos to edit. I've already done two of them. I'm gonna have to edit this one and then another one today. And I am going to be filming another video today as well. So I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. It's going to be five amazing summer salads that I've been obsessed with that like will impress your entire family. So I'll probably have a salad one of those salads. But yeah, this is probably gonna be pretty short and sweet today. Not a lot going on except for me sitting out on my computer editing my brains out. Good times. Okay, so it is now noon. I have been cooking up a storm, or not cooking because those are just salads. But look at my kitchen. It's like so much cleaning and cooking and eating. I mean, I can't really complain about it. I just wish I had a dishwasher. This is the salad that I'm having for lunch. I made a Cobb salad and this salad, Derek wanted to eat the Cobb salad. So I'm having this Thai salad. It's made with um, like this really good ginger, carrot, tahini dressing that is out of this world. I mean, do I say everything's out of this world? But like this dressing is my one of my favorites and I like to make it in big batches and it's really good on kelp noodles or um, pasta noodles. I also put it on just tofu and steamed veggies is really good. So what I have in here is some spring greens, tofu. This is a lemon, cat hair, a lemon garlic tofu that I made. Um, some edamame, cucumber, sesame seeds, cilantro, and red onion. Look at this, so good. I seriously can't wait for this salad recipe video to come out because these five recipes are like my favorite go-to salad recipes that I make all the time and I can even get Derek to eat them which he is not the biggest vegetable person so the fact that I can get him to eat salads they must be pretty pretty good mm, this dressing is just so good if you guys ever go to a Thai restaurant and you get the salads that they have and they have that really amazing ginger carrot kind of dressing. This is exactly like that. Except for it's better because it's homemade. It is pretty legit. I'm still editing so I'm just gonna have a snack of some blueberries and this banana. I feel like editing isn't a lot of physical work but it's so like mentally draining that I just need fuel to keep me going. So this is the perfect little midday snack for me. So it is now 6 p.m. dinner time. I really want to make pasta because I feel like I haven't really had a lot of substance today. Like I had fruit and then I had a smoothie with the oats and salad. I just need like a lot of carbs and protein. I don't really have a lot of ingredients in my house right now, so I'm gonna film this for you guys and we'll see what I throw together, but it's probably not gonna be super fancy. To start, I just boiled some water and threw in this green lentil penne pasta. This is just made from lentils. It's super high in protein, so I like to use it and the taste and texture is pretty good. And then I had some canned artichokes, some sun-dried tomatoes, and frozen spinach in my fridge. So I threw that in there with some of the Vio Life Parmesan cheese. I didn't add any dressing to this. I basically just put half a lemon, some garlic powder, and Italian seasoning in there and mixed it all together. And then just threw this into a bowl. Then I just added some fresh chopped tomatoes in there, stirred all of it together, and that was it. It was pretty easy using everything that I had on hand. Here is my dinner. As you guys saw in the video, I just let this cool down for a little bit and then added some fresh spring greens. As you saw, I put the Vio Life Parmesan on here. <sighs> Out of this world. That stuff, I bought it the other day and it's like almost gone. It makes anything better. Like I didn't even put any dressing on here. It's just lemon juice, a little bit of garlic powder and some Italian seasoning, but the Parmesan on here is like 
to die for. It just makes everything incredible. Something I actually get asked about all the time are these little bowls that I use. So these are the coconut bowls. If you've ever seen them on Instagram, they're just at coconut bowls. And I like what this company did is amazing. They basically took coconuts and then produce them in a way I think they they don't even use like any chemicals or anything and they make bowls out of coconuts someone was asking me if um, they're a good size so there is like a big bowl and then these are the normal size if you can see the difference they also have them in different colors this is oh there it is that's that's what the brands called this is just like a different um, colored texture that they have so I use these little ones for smoothie bowls and stuff and then I use these for like salads and pastas and bigger dishes or burrito bowls or whatever i've had them for a while they do last like a long time i've never had one crack or have any issues i have heard that you need to put coconut oil on them to keep them in like a good polished state but i haven't done that and i've had these for months but yeah for anybody that was wondering it's just something i get asked about on my instagram post because i post with these a lot just because they're super aesthetically pleasing um they do hold up really well. They are pretty inexpensive. They're super environmentally friendly and I really like them. That is everything that I ate today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely try this pasta recipe and keep your eye out for the salad recipe video. It should be coming either this week or next week. I've been trying to post now every Monday and Wednesday for you guys. Trying to up my YouTube game a little bit and get back on a schedule so if there's any videos or anything that you would like to see me make um, I was thinking about doing a video about why I quit intermittent fasting which kind of has to go with the last video that I posted that was um, the easiest way to lose weight I did totally quit intermittent fasting it had over time really negative effects on me not like physically but very emotionally and in other ways so if you want me to talk about that just leave a comment down in the box below and i will make a video on that for you guys all right see you on the next video thanks again for watching peace